Hi, welcome back to another episode of Witcher 3. Viper Swords and Warrior's Leather's Jacket only. We're playing on Death March difficulty. We are here in Central Velen, checking out some undiscovered locations. We are heading uh, in inland now, towards like the Devil's Pit area, which I haven't been to yet. And we're going to go check that out. There's also a undiscovered location down here, intertwined with all those roads to the uh, west of here. And then the Devil Pit is almost due north of there. So let's head for this one right over to the left, and then we'll go to the Devil's Pit after that. Okay, we're approaching something right here. Looks like a busted uh, house. Guarded treasure. There's those uh, ghouls. Damn it. Ouch. Ooh, Roach is doing circles around me. Oh, it's an all ghoul. Dang. Alright, not too bad. They still pack a punch, though, even those low level ones. So what do we got going on here? We got a chest. That's some pretty good stuff. Ooh, a sword. Anything else? Yep, ruby and some ashes. What about over here? Oh, some more loot. Blood moss. And a, another sword and some more ashes from the burned corpses. And I reckon that's all. Yep, the marker's gone. So, uh, let's go to the Devil's Pit, which is just up the road here. Alright, we're just about here. Devil's Pit is one of those places in the game that seems like they... Take it easy. They had an idea for something larger going on, but then they never... They scrapped it or nothing ever became of it because... It's a pretty large area. It's like a quarry or a mining operation or something. And I think there's lots of bandits here. And there's also a lot of loot, so... Yeah, bandit camp is the marker down here. And that door's locked. But uh, hopefully they're all low-level bandits and we can just, like, bomb them and poison them. Take care of them, most of them like that. But I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of uh, dudes with bows and arrows and crossbows, so I'll have to just watch out for them. And also there's lots of loot. Okay, looks like we just have to go through these doors. Oh, they know I'm here. Oh, hey, guys. All right, yeah, I'll come together at once. That's good. Walk through the poisonous cloud. Thank you very much. Yeah, they're going down pretty quick. Level nine. Yeah, that cloud's going to soften them up real big. There we go. <laughs> there's a bunch of them dead already. I think there's a quite a few more down there, though. And I'm all out of... Uh, I guess I should have meditated before I came here. I'm all out of poisonous bombs, but we'll just burn them from now on. If we get the chance, we'll uh, use the Dragon's Dream. This guy's all by himself. Should make quick work of these guys, that's for sure. So far, so good. Lots of loot. Here's another person over here. Oh, it looks like a couple of them. Oh, excuse me, goat. Don't hurt the goat. All right, good. Goat made it through that okay. Lots and lots of loot everywhere. Good place to come early in the game when you're still needing this stuff. Oh, hey. Hi. He maybe was the last person. I've pretty much gone all around here.
There is this area underneath here, the grate, that uh, I think it's only accessible with mods, but there is like a big empty cavern under there where you can explore if you have the proper mods installed. That's why it makes me think that they had more planned for this area and then they just never they ran out of time or they just didn't have the story for it or whatnot. But uh, yeah, I think we've done all we can down here. Except for this last of the loot right here. Let's get this loot and then get out of here. Those last few pieces I picked up made me over encumbered. <laughs> so I'm just going to go up to the signpost and then I guess I'll go sell some of this stuff. Lots of swords and armor to sell. Furs. Been picking up a lot of furs. Alright, I sold a bunch of stuff here in Novigrad and now we're going to go to this little outside of Oxenfurt area. There's like three undiscovered locations very close to each other. Oh, it's uh, my troll friend. So the places we're going to are, see there's three of them in this little stretch of islands here. So let's head out for the first one. All right, we should be getting pretty close. It's hidden treasure. And ooh. Hi. I think that's a uh is that a cockatrice? Looks like it. Oh, it's a basilisk. Ooh. Ooh, burn. Oh, darn. Ouch. Pretty high level, so I'd rather not get hit by him with my shield down. Darn, I keep hitting him when he's on fire. How's my crossbow skills hanging out here? <laughs> Terrible, <laughs> as usual. I'm about to go back to crossbow school. There we go, that was a good one. Ouch. Yeah! Hey. Time for cross. Oh! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. What sort of treasure were you guarding there, Mr. Basilisk? Oh, and his head's gone. I totally cut his head off. Sorry about that. I don't know where it went. Maybe he's laying on it. Is this a chest? It's a barrel. There's a chest. Well, that's a barrel, too. A couple of barrels. Let's see. There's a dead guy there. Here's a locked chest. I haven't found the key yet. This guy does not have it. Uh, there must be something else around here with a key. Let's see. A couple of barrels over here, or boxes, and a chest with an axe head in it. Hmm, is there another corpse somewhere or something, or a chest with a letter or a key in it? Oh, look, over here. It's a dead person. Oh, slightly bent key and an unsent letter and a dried fish. Dear, my dear papa, the wedding's over. 
It's done. It didn't all go exactly like I'd imagined as a little girl, but, well, you always taught me to make the most of what I've got. We're traveling now, so I'll send this letter as soon as we arrive. I'll start with what I'm sure you're, what interests you the most, financial matters. As I'm sure you've noticed, a few crowns have gone missing from your lockbox, the cupboards, a couple silver plates lighter, and your jewelry box isn't near as full as it once was. I took it as my dowry. No doubt much less than you'd have given, but had, had I found myself a worthy partner, but tough, that's life. Kurt, or as you like to call him, that good-for-nothing, bare-assed lazybones, is now my husband. And your daughter's precious purity, which you cared about more than her feelings, tears, or pleadings, well, it's only a memory now. We'll soon arrive at our destination. Naturally, I won't tell you where exactly that is, just in case you get in your head to come visit. Wherever it is, know your silver will be enough to set up a nice home. That's important, because I'm expecting a child. Are you glad? I doubt it. You always said poor matches only produce mutts and scoundrels. So it's a good thing you'll never be able to see this one. Your little girl, Jeanette. Wow, sounds like she was fleeing from a dysfunctional father. But she ran to a basilisk instead. Dowry. So now I have the key. I can undoubtedly unlock that chest. That must be Kurt on the fence. Hmm, not too bad. I didn't see any silver from the cupboard, but whatever. Alright, the next one is due west. The next undiscovered location is due west. Hidden treasure. And I see some drowners. So let's get our necrophage oil ready. And maybe we can even bomb them if we feel fun, because they're all standing close together. Yeah. Looks like there's about five or six of them. Plus, there may be some in the water we can't see. This will soften them up and probably kill a few of them. Level four. that it? Y'all dead? Ooh, we got some red... Some red markings. Alright, let's see what's going on here. We got all the drops and the brains to pick up. And there's a glowing thing over here with sparkles. We'll get that in just a second. Make sure we get all the brains first. And check out all the other loot. We got some dwar dwarven spirit. What about over here? We got anything? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's see what's on this dude. Bloodstained document. I've stopped the bleeding. I need to collect my thoughts. I could go for help. There's a village not far. I can hear the, their dogs barking. But people would see what uniform I wear. They'd ask what I was doing in the swamps. They'd figure it out. They'd take everything and maybe kill me. This is Velen after all. I've lost a quart of blood, maybe more. If the wound is still clean come dawn, I should pull through. I'll leave at daylight, maybe then the drowners won't attack. I'll bury the treasure and head to Novigrad. Should be able to find a decent man there to patch me up. Someone who won't ask questions, who doesn't care if you're a deserter. All that's left to me now is to pray that no one sees the tracks I left, that they don't follow the blood trail and find the treasure. But no one will come through here, I hope. Everything will be fine. Unfortunately, nothing was fine for this guy. Blood gold. So those red tracks we found are undoubtedly his. And they'll probably lead to wherever the treasure is. Alright, so they go off in this direction. Is that an exploding barrel or a lootable barrel? It's an exploding barrel. Uh-huh. Okay, so the treasure is buried beneath that, so we need to ard that stuff out of the way, I think. Okay, now we should be able to get to it. Nice. Oh, over-encumbered. <laughs> I 
Well, there's still one more to do down in this area, and uh, even though I'm over encumbered, I'm just going to take the Leshen decoction, or the Fiend decoction, to uh, increase my carry weight. And I'll take care of this last one down here, and then we'll uh, call this area done. So, uh, we we'll won't have to come back to this swampy area. There right, really aren't any fast travel location points around, so might as well do it right now while we're close. There's something up here. It looks like some bandits? Or no, they're Redanians. What's going on? <laughs> huh. Some of them are cheering and some of them are like practicing their moves. Nice. <laughs> Yay! All right, we're getting close to the third and final one down here in this this, this area near Oxenford. Hidden treasure. Ooh, sounds like a water hag or a grave hag or a something. Yep. All right, we'll just let her burn for a little bit. There's a chest over there. That's oop. Where'd she go? Nice. She's burning real good. Nice. There, yeah, one more should do it. One more, I said. Yep. In the chest is a small blackjack. Surely that's not. Yeah, that's not it. There's got to be something more substantial. Ooh, we have some red. Oh, there's a chest behind those barrels. So we're probably going to have to knock those barrels out of the way with the ard. Or you could probably just hit him with your sword, too. Uh, let's see. There's got to be a dead body around here somewhere. Right there. Crumpled notes. I always said Musky was a clever pup. He understands more words than quite a few men. He can do all sorts of tricks. Sit, roll over, and if you give him a scrap of bacon, he'll even shake your hand. But today, why he's outdone himself today. I look and there's Musky running in from the field carrying something in his mouth. I think maybe it's a hare and I'll be able to whip us up a stew, sell the fur. But no, it was just a sack, all covered in blood, so no wonder he sniffed it out. I look inside, and inside there's a key. A little one, all engraved and ornamented, like it fits some fancy chester box. So I think, maybe there's treasure hidden thereabouts, and that's what this key's for. So I think I'll go for a walk and see what I can see. I'll find it. I swear to Melatelli, Muskie's gonna eat nothing but veal for the rest of his days. That blood on the sacks got me a bit worried, though. But I'll take a thick club with me, so if anything pops out of the bushes, I'll get a thump it'll get a thumping. You don't live want you don't live but once, so you might as well take some risk, I always say. Yet again, another person who died in the search of treasure. I hope the puppy made it out okay. Battlefield loot. Oh, there's some more treasure over here. Some plate, dark steel plate. And if we use our Witcher senses and follow this trail, we'll come back to this barrel we have to just destroy the barrels and then there's a chest behind there it looks like yep nice good stuff just check out that sword benshi ooh it really increases your ard sign intensity 14 percent and plus 47 armor piercing and plus nine frost damage that's a pretty good sword Level 34, you have to be to use that. That'd be good if you wanted to really have a good, like, put all your freezing, your freezing rune stones in there. Now we should probably go sell some stuff, because I'm over capacity. All right, I sold a bunch of stuff, and now we're down sort of near, uh, we're in a Nilfgaardian camp. Down in this area right here, just south of Novigrad, and, uh, there's an undiscovered location over here. 
Not too far. So let's go over there and get it. Should be just right over here. Past all these. Yeah, guarded treasure. Looks like another water hag. Oops. Can't see. There we go. Let's let her burn for a little bit. Burn some more. Pretty good damage for her, like 600, 600 hit points per click or whatever. Any more burns for you? One more burn might finish you off. I gotta repair my sword pretty soon. There we go, that might kill her. Yeah, I think it's gonna. Very good. I also repaired my swords while I was here. Ooh, look at all these. Wow. Good stuff. I just picked up another sword like the one I just got. Bean Shi or Bane Shea. Not as good though. Level 30 and the Ard Sign Intensity and the Armor Piercing and the Frost Damage aren't as, aren't as large as the first one I picked up. Alright, well I think that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we're going to go north and try to finish off that uh, From a Land Far, Far Away mission that we started in Skellige. It's pretty close, and uh, that's what we'll do first next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.